Welcome to Vegas Tutorials. I am Steph the Video Guy and I'm going to do a little tutorial on how to use text as a mask. Now it might seem a little confusing but it's a piece of pie. So I'm going to start with a new file and I'm going to use the 72030p because that's what I have. And so first off I'm just going to make a layer. Um, now this layer, oh, it's got audio attached, so I'm going to right click, video only, add video across time. I could just drop it down with the audio on it, but that's a little ugly, so I'll do that. Now here's the texture that I've chosen that I want as my, on the inside. I shot this in Jasper, but I wanted this texture. Whether or not I want this color, it doesn't really matter. But that, I like this texture, it adds a little something. So. And then I'm going to do this. Uh, once again, it's got audio attached to it. So I'll go video only, add video across time. Now this is the shot of uh, someone driving through. It's kind of a real feel good. And I'm going to use that as my background layer. All right. Now I'm going to right click and I'm going to go insert video track. Now with that I'm going to choose a media generator and um, legacy text which is the old uh, familiar text tool. Drop that down and, and as you'll see it's just got sample text there. I'm going to actually grab that and I'm going to move that over here. So we got our preview nice and open there. So I'm going to type in friend adventure just because that's the text I want on it and then I'll go to impact increase the font size just want it to be nice and large in the preview section and then mm, yeah that's cool it's kind of like a, a little a little funkier text now everyone's around the same length you know we could put a marker hit M a marker in just make everything nice and clean if we wanted to but as you'll notice the text is going over top the first layer here now what we want to do to make that immediately be a mask is to select this composting mode now composting mode does a lot of different things but what you'll notice right off the bat is that it will make a mask of whatever's on this layer and in this case it's text so there you go so it made a mask but what you'll also notice is that well, it's got black underneath it now it's doing what we want but we aren't seeing this really cool car go over top this hill here so what we want to do is we want to make this instead of having this effect this composting mode affect this and then put a black background on, we select Make Composting Child. So it allows this layer right here underneath the third one to behave as though it's got its own properties. So there we go. So it behaves like a mask now. Now, um, there we go, and we see the car coming around the corner. It's, a, it's tied in a little bit too closely to the background and I want to make it pop a little bit. So I'm going to open up the properties right here on the generated medium, so the text medium. Now I can go in and I can change the size and uh, the alignment and everything else. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here, I'm going to make this black and have a little black outline for that. You can see my preview is set to best, so it should show it decently. I want it a little bit thicker, so you can see it comes in a little bit. I'm going to lead that slightly, and then I'm going to track that a little bit more. Get those letters away from each other. And then this is the fun one. This is the one that really makes your text pop. There we go. It basically it'll, it puts a drop shadow underneath only the text that you've got up in your mask layer. 
So there you go. So as, as you see, we can start that up. You see the car coming through. It's the grand adventure. And so this is the, it's the intro piece for, you know, uh, some, some vacation piece, or maybe, um, maybe you wanted to say, you can change this on the fly too. So you can go um, Canadian Rockies. So there you go. And of course, the interesting thing about this is that you can also affect the bottom layer. So let's do a uh, color balance. Uh, where is that? Right here. You can affect the colors on the masked line as well. So if I wanted to blue that up, see, it blues up. Let's see what colors we can get. You can really pop them on. Say I wanted to really brighten it up. Yeah, see if we could do that, really get it popping, get it, you know, a little more fall toned or something. Yeah, we'll yellow it up. There you go. Say you're trying to uh, change the text color into the color of your marketing, whatever it is. There you go. You can change that. You can just turn it on and off and see how you like the original versus what you changed it to. So there you go. That's how to make a um, text layer as a mask. It's very straightforward. Perhaps in a different uh, in a different tutorial, I'll go through what all of these suckers do. It's uh, quite a neat difference when you add each different one. So there you go. Thank you very much for tuning in. Please subscribe to my channel and uh, let me know what you think down in the doobly-doo. Thank you very much.